Hello and welcome, this is Stephen Dulcey, and today, and today I have an unboxing video for you. I'm going to be taking a look at the, Z, the ZA03 Type-K z Knight, a high-end master model that was released by Kota Bukia in collaboration with Takara Tomy in August 2014. This model retails for 6,500 Japanese yen and is the first HMM z Knight released by Kota Bukia. As you can see, the box is a, vert is a vertical shape. Now, that's a problem I have with the boxes. I mean, why couldn't they just do it a, vert a horizontal shape like other Kotobukiya High and Master bottle boxes? You know, not all Kotobukiya High and Master box boxes were, you know, horizontal. Some Kotobukiya kits besides this had vertical shaped boxes, including examples include the Godos, the Iron Kong Schwarz version, the Iguan, and the Go and of course the Gojulus. So the box art is made by a Mercy Rabbit. We got a nice little box art. I gotta give Kota Bukia credit. Uh, I picked this guy up from a uh, hobby in Japan about a week ago. It arrived today. And in case you haven't noticed, I'm not at my I'm not at my regular house. Instead, I'm at a beach house in Davis Park. I've been here since since Sunday but unfortunately last night we went I had to go home with my mom and dad because my mom was having sleep trouble last night he was she was having trouble she was having trouble sleeping here in the in the house mainly because of the hot weather in here so unfortunately we had to come home I had to sleep at my house last night and we didn't come back to Davis Park until today at like we came home at, we came here at like 4.30-ish, something like that. My package arrived today at my house at 10.46 a.m. Uh, picked this guy up for, um, it was on sale for 5,200 Japanese yen. Yeah, I actually pretty much, I actually got a good, I actually got a good price there. So anyway, like I said, the box art is very nice. It's made by Mercy Rabbit. On the side of the box, we have a nice, a hand-drawn picture of the toy designed by Masashi Katahira. We have a backstory of the toy of of the Z Knight, the Kotobukiya logo, ages 15 and up, price of the model, Kotobukiya address, SKU, and warning sign. On the other side, we get a picture of the of the H&M Z Knight in its nice little um doing poses and, and its gimmicks, you, front view and rear view and its gimmicks. You've got the metal heart, which is like the Zoid core, but unlike the Zoid core, it's not removable. Uh, his sword and can also become a little can bazooka thingy. you got a picture of the decal, and in the instructions, there is a little comic, little, little comic thingy. And we got a nice pose of the, of the kit on the bottom. And I forgot, and believe it or not, I'm probably the first and only person to do an unboxing of this kit on YouTube. I don't think anyone else had a chance to buy this, to do an unboxing video of this kit. On both the top and the bottom, we have this, we have a nice picture of the, mo of the model that's based on the box. On both top, on both bottom and top, and top of the box as well. And again, like other Kotobukiya High Master models, the box is blank. Okay, enough of the box. Let's get into the, let's get into the models, the, the contents of, of the kit. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we get. Okay, first we get a little, first we get a little, the first word we get is a, is a little, is a gray part. Letter is E, the letter is, um, E. And, I gotta be honest, this is some good, this is actually some good detailing. I don't know where they go, I'm not sure, but I'm not sure where they go, unfortunately. Then we got a nice, then we got a big blue, then we got a big plate that's molded in a dark navy blue color, letter A. These are parts for the head the skirt, etc. We get the G-sprues molded in silver. 
Not sure where these go. It's a duplicate runner. runner. Here I have a, a more light shade, lighter shade of silver. This is the sh this is letter C. This is the, these are mostly the weapons and hands. These are the, the shield, the, the blade bazooka weapon, and the hands. Oh, and over there we have a we have another weapon screw, letter F. More gunmetal silver than the other silver. Just more parts of the weapon. Now we have the J plate, which is molded in red. This is some numerous small parts. And the H runner, which is also molded in dark gray. Not black, but more dark gray color. And it's more numerous small parts. The D plate, just some numerous small parts. It's a duplicate runner. And the K plate, some red parts, numerous small duplicate runner. The poly caps, you got one PC1, two PC2, one PC2, and two PC3 plates. The I plate. Just some more numerous dark gray runners. Here we have a little a little small headpiece, as well as the L runner, the L plate, molded in translucent red, and it's actually the visor, the cockpit that is. Next we have the X plate, which are actually which are actually the caps. Yeah, unlike the caps on the H on the on the HMM Zoids kits, these are actually really tiny. I mean, look at these. These are that tiny. I'm not gonna lie. These are really tiny. And the last screw we get is a dark blue, our our duplicate dark blue runner. These are usually these are this is the these are the B plates. These are usually these do go on the legs. I'm not sure where the rest goes, so we'll have to find out. And unfortunately, that's all the sprues we get. Uh, the next thing we get is, of course, the instruction manual. And, of course, the decal sheet. Like the, unlike the, like the box itself, the instruction sheet is vertical instead of horizontal. Over here we get... Oh, over here on we get this here we have our mini com a little mini comic miniaturized comic whoopsies oh and I forgot to end like other high end master models you get a parts order form if you want to order sp spare parts where was I where was I last time then we have some artworks of the of the model. And then you got the parts list on page five. Construction begins on page six. You start with the head and the body. Then you build the, the, the lower torso, the backpack. Actually, you build the backpack after, after you build the upper body. Then you build, then you build the, low, the skirt and lower torso. Then you build the arms. And you build the le the feet and legs, the weapons, the beam sword that is, and the LM shield, and that's when construction stops. Color guide for the color guide you need silver, you need well actually three different shades of silver. You need clear red, regular red, gunmetal, and blue and dark blue, and orange for the for the metal heart for the metal heart. The decal guide, but I'm not, but I don't usually use decals, so I'm going to skip that. And on the back of the model, we have some nice little poses. And that's it, and that's pretty much it for the HMM Z Knight. Uh, built, you know, this is unlike the Kotobukiya High End Master Model Zoids kits. This is actually this one is not a one to seventy second scale. 
this is actually a 1 to 100 scale. So you could pretty much say that this is this was made to compete with the master with the with Bandai's master grade Gundam kits and all that stuff. Because it's got the same piece amount as a master grade. It's the size of a master grade and it's actually the same it could be the same it could be the the um the building difficulty is probably the same as a Master Grade Gundam. Anyway, that's it for the HMM Zenite unboxing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you next time.